Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of DE Video News Roundup. Hope you and your loved ones are staying safe. Let's start with an upgrade, a SOLIDWORKS upgrade that is. The popular mechanical program SOLIDWORKS is now in version 2021. Among the highlights are the ability to save de-featured or simplified components as a configuration, so you can toggle between the de-featured version and the original detailed version. It also comes with better handling of small gaps in mesh models in simulation, fillet along non-planar surfaces in sheet metal design. And if you have a GPU, you can expect to see better performance, specifically in assembly rotation, in displaying models with silhouetted edges and occlusion culling. When you export an interference report, you can now include thumbnails of the parts involved. Unlike an Excel spreadsheet with part numbers only, the visuals will make it easier for you to identify the problematic components when you are ready to fix the issues. There are also ancillary products under the brand 3D Experience Works. Among them are cloud-hosted software like 3D Sculptor, a subdivisional modeling program for making organic shapes, and 3D Creator for quick design creation and simulation. For the full list of new features, go to SOLIDWORKS 2021 dedicated homepage at SOLIDWORKS.com. Recently, Korean carmaker Kia announced a partnership with ARVR hardware and software developer Vario to design cars using ARVR technology from Vario. This also involves the use of Autodesk V-RED software, an automotive design visualization program from Autodesk. According to Vario, the Kia European team tried the headset and was impressed by what they were able to see inside the virtual world. Vario points out that with Vario XR1, designers can work with their colleagues in the physical design space they are used to and collaborate on photorealistic, real-scale virtual car models while seeing their hands and bodies. In an immersive mixed reality experience like this, they're able to talk as they go, give immediate feedback, and run more engaging reviews. These use cases will likely become more common during the era of social distancing, where only a limited number of people can actually meet and work together physically in an office. This month, NVIDIA GTC also took place online with CEO Jensen Huang delivering his keynote from his own private kitchen. One of the key announcements is Omniverse, a real-time ray trace design environment. Jensen Huang calls it an open platform for collaboration and simulation. This is a new platform for editors and viewers to share scenes and models. The content is rendered in ray tracing, so what you see inside Omniverse, such as light bouncing behavior, reflections and shadows, is physically accurate. In terms of computational cycle, these features are expensive to generate. So Omniverse uses a number of methods like eye tracking, foveation and warped space. These visuals are streamed, not computed on the headset itself, so the graphics performance is not limited to what processing power happens to live in your viewing hardware. Omniverse works with 3D Max, Maya, Rhino, SketchUp, and Unreal Engine, among others. It targets automotive, manufacturing, product design, and robotic industries. Omniverse is now in open beta phase. This is all the news for this episode. I will see you again in next episode. In the meantime, for design and engineering related news, go to digitalengineering247.com. That's digitalengineering247.com. Follow us on Twitter at DE Editor and subscribe to our YouTube channel at DE Streaming. This is Kenneth Wong for DE. Bye for now.